running up the score. You're listening to the Running Up the Score podcast. Now here's your hosts, Jerry Napoleonello and Kevin Donlin. The biggest thing going on in the NFL is the opt-outs. You know, you're having all these players, you know, voluntarily opt out of the season. Now, there hasn't been huge names that have, you know, it's been guys that maybe have been on the bubble of, you know, making the team, making, you know, not making the team, whatever it is. You know, the Patriots obviously have the most uh, players that have opted out, which is a little, you know, I, you know, we know how Bill Belichick runs his team. But, you know, you have players like you're starting to have uh, bigger names, I guess you could say, like Nate Solder, the offensive lineman from the Giants. He's opted out unspecified why he did it. Uh, I think th- he actually came out with a uh, um, a letter saying why and, and, and this and that. But um, Marquise Goodwin, obviously everybody knows about Marquise Goodwin, you know, played the game like the day after he lost, uh, you know, a baby uh, and just had one. Therefore, he put out a video saying, you know, I- I'm not putting my family at risk again. I've had, I think he's had two, he's lost two babies so far you know with him and his his wife um so Marquise Goodwin like that's that's the stuff that you got to look at you know these these players and you can't get mad at this you can't as a fan you cannot get mad at this I honestly it doesn't it's not relevant to me because it's not my business exactly and I think that's like the biggest thing that like a lot of like media outlets forget is that you know people are entitled to their own business and you know I'm not here to question why anybody doesn't want to play that's not it's not a concern of mine. Yeah. I understand. No matter what, you do not need to explain yourself. That's, see, that's the problem with the new public image. And, you know, you, you feel like you need to, you have the need to, you know, explain yourself. Yeah. And you really don't. Oh, uh, yeah, I know. Unfortunately, like that's, that's, that's still a world that we live in where you, that's your own private concerns. Yeah. And I'm not one to sit there and hear them and then judge them which is what happens on like ESPN outlets and stuff like that. It's not a concern of mine, sir. Uh, you're entitled and you know, you get people that are bothered by this. I mean, I don't waste my, I don't waste my effort being bothered by something that really isn't relevant to me at all. Uh, you know, I'm a jet fan. If any jets want to opt out of the season, that's fine. It's with understandable. Me. I understand. Yeah, I absolutely understand. I, you know, and again, it's me just as a fan, just hoping that the coaching staff can adjust yeah. and find a way, you know, like it's, that's how this works, you know, and obviously they're giving up a lot of money by opting out of these contracts. <laughs> yeah, I mean, and they that's still the make some decent money, but at the same time, like, you're opting out of a lot more money. That's your own decision, you know, like, they're all adults. So I think the, the I'm most, not one to judge it. The and, most and impressive. have an understanding as to why or why not it's acceptable for them to opt out. Don't care. Absolutely. I think the most um, impressive, I guess, opt out, was uh, the Kansas City Chiefs offensive lineman Laurent Duvernay Tardif uh, because he has a PhD and he's been fighting, you know, as, you know, a nurse and a doctor at, you know, in the hospitals during this whole thing. So the fact that he's opting out so he can do more, you know, is just that it's impressive. Like that's something that, no, you, I you think know, you a, can't. I think that's an amazing choice. Yeah. And, uh, you know, it's really appreciative. And I yeah. bet you the people in his hometown – you know, are very appreciative. Oh, absolutely. So, you know, you understand why they would do something like that. Uh, you know, respect it. I mean, and then it just goes from there. Who's the next man up? Yeah, and, like, that's a, the that's a thing. Now, I want to see, like, kind of how you feel. Um, obviously, as I said, there's really not huge players that have opted out. Like, you're looking at guys like Damian Williams, Nate Solder, um, Patrick Chung, you know, guys like that, like, yeah, they're they're well-known players and they're very good players, but they're not that star player. Yeah. Now, what happens if a star player actually opts out? Because I could, I could, like, we were talking about this before we even went on the air, and basically I said, I feel like one player, one star player, all he has to do is opt out, and I think 
that's going to open the floodgates for other stars. Like, all right, well, if this guy can opt out, then I know I can. You know, if if a Russell Wilson type player, and I think player, the NFL to continue to keep a product on the field knows it'll be saving a lot of money on these contracts. Therefore, other players can come in. Yeah, and that's how it's going to work. There's yeah. always going to be a next man up in the game of football. It's a very limited league. So you feel you feel that the season won't be canceled if a top player ends up opting out. I can't predict it. I don't yeah. know anything about. Again, it comes back down to the you know the virus and how it's going to react. Nobody knows, I, really. No, you know, yeah. So and I don't really even think the professionals the know. It's really, it's a <laughs> yeah. guess. Yeah. This is just a. Absolutely. I wouldn't even say it's a logical guess because I'm, I'm, you know, unfortunately, not enough is known about the virus. Yeah. You know, uh, whether a vaccine will be created, anything like that. So there's a lot of variables. And personally, if a star wants to, you know opt out they are more than welcome to and if it means a floodgate of stars start opting out then that's their own decision so i mean it. again <laughs> adult oh yeah absolutely. <laughs> you're allowed to make that decision i'm not even going to make a base or a ranking or a judgment on it because yeah you know, absolutely. There's, there's always going to be another man that wants to you know that will take Step the up. risk yeah almost you know, i mean well how, like you know, you know you... a lot of people out there taking the risk right now doctors and nurses so it's like you you understand that it's just really just your choice at this point and you know if they want to give off, you know they they don't even gonna make the money. So it's, it's yeah, understandable. So, like with uh, Kansas City, you know losing Damian Williams this season, you know they just drafted a running back. They drafted uh, the guy out of LSU, Hilaire. Uh, you know the, he's got a longer name, but <laughs> it just but, shows the kind of comfortability. But that's that something like Damian Williams would have. Yeah, Damian Williams can understand that I'll skip the season, and if I need to go try out for a new team or and that's try the to thing, like they're on an organization, and they're going to work hard and try to do their best to. These you know, guys are putting their out. their position at risk. You know their their position on these teams, like like Devin Funches. You know this is supposed to be his first year with the Packers. You know, so this is, you know, you're, you're playing, you're still, it doesn't matter if you're a well-known player, you're still playing for a spot. So, you know, defensive tackle, Michael Pierce, you know, these, these players are, you know, these are the higher risk opt outs, like uh, Minnesota Vikings, defensive tackle, Michael Pierce, uh, the Mm -hmm. Patriots offensive lineman, Marcus Cannon, and uh, the, the Washington football team defensive end, Caleb Brantley. I, I still uh, it it's sickening to me. I'm, I'm not even gonna say it's sickening to me. It's just uh, the fact that we have to say Washington football team is a joke. I think I think it's <laughs> gonna be really funny to watch the New York Giants take on the Washington Redskins because you're gonna hear an announcer go, "All right, and the New York Football Giants take on the Washington, Washington football, football team." team. <laughs> and I'm I'm gonna really question whether or not I really live in 2020 or not, or people just aren't realizing what's going on. Like I want to hear an announcer say it. I'll probably record it. Yeah. Uh, it'll be really funny. It, 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 it really is <laughs> uh, actually going to be funny because I mean, even just I mean, their just uniforms. Come up with a decision. I mean, you you know, there are people out there getting paid a lot of money. Just make a decision. Well, it's you really know, you know what ended difficult. up happening. Someone, you know, obviously, I guess when they started talking about trying to change this this team's name for the last three years or whatever, someone yeah. went out and trademarked every single team name that they could have come up with which in a way is smart because you know Genius. what now you're going to have this team say all right well what how much can we pay you to to give us this name and Absolutely. you know the, the it's the, not the right time to do it right now because no. you're in covid-19 the washington redskins can't spend 25 million dollars exactly and listen to get dan the name off to somebody because dan they don't even snyder know they're going to make this money Dan Snyder did not want to change this team name at all. It was he was forced, obviously. You know, FedEx wanted their name off of this the stadium. Uh, Nike stopped putting their their merchandise out, which in a way, you know, they're at Nike's mercy because uh, there's only one team in the NFL that actually holds the rights to their team, and that's the Dallas Cowboys. Just because Jerry Jones is Jerry Jones, he's he's that business guy. That's why you'll never see, no matter where you go, whatever store it is, you'll never see a Dallas Cowboys merchandise go on sale unless the Cowboys put it on sale. So, you know, there's been multiple times that I've gone into like Models or, you know, Dick's Sporting Goods and, you know, the Giants and the Jets are on sale and then they have a Cowboys sweatshirt that's still 50 something dollars. You know, that's the, it's just, that's. You would think it would lead to like wins. <laughs> 
<laughs> it was a good joke. No. But <laughs> I'm, I'm not, I saw me. I kept a straight face for as long as I could. Uh, no, but like that's that's the thing. Like, so they're at the mercy of Nike. So Nike was like, all right, you know what? We're not going to put your stuff out. FedEx is like, we want our name off of the stadium. We want our money back. You know, like stuff like that. So Dan Snyder was forced, and now it's at that point where like stuff like this that happens. You know, when it comes to team names and and logos and you know uniforms and stuff like this, this takes over a year to do. So the fact that they're like actually going to go into the season with a blank jersey, you know, just the colors, a blank helmet, and everybody saying, "All right, you know, it's the Dallas Cowboys facing the Washington Football Team," <laughs> like <laughs> it's it's weird it's 2020 weird basically going on I, right now you know obviously with the virus it, again it's just uh it's a different time yeah and, i mean uh, it, it's basically we're we're going to be able to years down the line you know when something's going bad it's just going to be like all right well this just pulled to 2020 like that's just <laughs> you know it's it's just going to come down to that because that is the type of year that we're in uh you know compared to you know just everything that's going on like it's not just the one thing it's not just COVID-19 which is just out of this world you know what's going on but it's not just that it's just everything else and no, it, it, it's crazy it's the, the year that we're in is, is just absolutely insane for more running up the score go follow the show on Twitter and Instagram at RUTS Sports